video is about a premiere of Dinner in the Round, a short film written and directed by Howell Cole Kicklighter. In the style of a 1930s era film, Dinner in the Round got its first nomination in London, England, at the London Short Film Festival last year. The event was hosted in Rancho Santa Fe by the amazing ladies Tatiana Novik and Jessica Marshall. Tatiana Novik, our friend and an actress in the film, invited us to be part of the organization and make this video. And uh, we are uh, uh, going uh, to see presentation of two films of the author who passed away last December. And our friend Tanya, we are acting in those films. That's how we were invited. Just enjoy one fancy party. It's nice, beautiful people, beautiful evening here. And uh, with champagne and a lot of fun. We are expecting it to be. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Uh, this is Hal Kicklighter, and he uh, is uh, the director uh, and the creator of the two films you'll see tonight. Um, it's his passion. He went to film school in the East Coast. Uh, he was my best friend, and he just um, he has two wonderful films. One is called Dinner in the Round, which we have a few of the cast members here tonight, and um, it is a from the uh, French New Wave genre of the of the. Uh, 30s and 40s uh, in France, and uh, it's uh, it's a very unique film. So I'm not going to give it away, uh, but it's uh, it's going to be different. <laughs> and then the other film is called Love in a Lifetime. It was his first adventure in uh, in filmmaking, and it's a kind of a depiction of his uh, the love that he had in his life. So that's all I'm going to say about that one. But it's, they're both have international uh, film festival awards. I think over 27 awards for both films. Did nominated or, or winning awards. Um, uh, in Love and a Lifetime, the lead actor, uh, Mark Finnick, unfortunately passed also. And uh, he won Best uh, best Actor uh, in one of the uh, international uh, film festivals. So you'll see uh, Mark do an amazing performance in that movie. But uh, we miss him a lot. Uh, what a great heart. He, he take his shirt off his back to help you. And uh, his, uh, his love was um, filmmaking and photography and helping people. He volunteered for many. In fact, he won a state award for volunteering um, in many, many events. But uh, this was his... Uh, his dream to have a fabulous premiere. Uh, this is a great time and a great moment. So again, thank you, thank you Jessica. Thank you, Tatiana. Yourself. We have food uh, coming shortly. We have to have some uh, drinks for a while. Uh, we have the uh, Victoria, which is a, is a, a fabulous uh, opera singer, so she'll be uh, singing some uh, tunes for you. Here's a song called Besame Mucho. Besame, Besame Mucho.
It was a pleasure to spend an evening with Cole's short film creating partners, actors, friends, talented musicians, and people that made the event so amazing and unforgettable. For much of the evening, we listened to the beautiful voice of opera singer Victoria Robertson and pop jazz singer Barry Cohen, which colored the event. Lighter, some called him Cole. You might uh, see his photograph there. Unfortunately, uh, he is, uh, has passed. Uh, he passed in 2021. But he has two wonderful films uh, for your enjoyment tonight. Uh, the first film is called uh, Dinner in the Round. And uh, his inspiration was Salvador Dali 
as a filmmaker of the 1930s and French uh, filmmaker uh, Louis uh, Bonnel. Uh, and Andalusian Dog uh, is a very famous film. Um, this uh, first film has very little dialogue. It's uh, mostly music, um, but it is a stylized and inspired uh, directors. So I want you to enjoy that. But uh, it was um, Tatiana Novik's uh, in honor of uh, Hal and uh, to honor his memory and to just kind of thank thank him. Uh, you'll see Tatiana in the film. City. Some of the awards, uh, some of the film festivals that uh, the, this, uh, these films have been in, uh, Berlin, London, Italy, um, Miami, LA. Unfortunately, Mark passed also. Um, he passed in 2020, so, so it's very, very sad. Um, Ava Capra, she's a famous uh, model and actress um, in Hollywood, and she this was her breakout film. So, um, an excellent, excellent job. Well, he was a very interesting character. Whoever knew him, uh, they know that he had a very big heart. Very interesting and um, unique. Because in a world like this, like he said, on, the, on Love and Lifetime, it's, uh, it's difficult to be yourself. And uh, he was. He was not afraid of being himself. And he threw himself there and there to do this two short films that show himself a lot in a lifetime that was his life. That is actually silent movie. It's just you you look back and you remember so many different uh, art forms that inspired such a movie. Thank you so much for bringing this beautiful art form back to life. We really enjoyed it. Thank you everyone. I got to know him pretty well and one thing that struck me was his intellect and he he was a very intelligent man um, he he came from the East Coast he was very very well educated he had numerous degrees um, I know he had a couple degrees in um, film and art and not music maybe I'm not even sure but he had several degrees uh, he was very well traveled. He had done extensive traveling around the world. And he had a lot to draw on for these movies. And I think the film industry is, you know, is, is going to be missing a great talent because I think he had a lot to give. And he definitely wasn't 
wasn't done with what he had to offer. And, um, you know, it was such a shock to all of us. But I really did respect, you know, his insights and things when I, we would chat and talk about things. He did have a lot of great insight. He was very intuitive. And uh, I miss him. I miss our chats. And he was a very good person and, and a, a brilliant talent. I knew him for six years. And he used to go up my house just about uh, every other week on Thursday. And we'd go to lunch together and discuss films. We filmed half a film called Devil's Highway, which he started to write. And then I wrote the whole screenplay. And unfortunately, we got halfway through and Mark Krennic died from a motorcycle accident. Um, we had a lot of plans. We had a lot of films on the board. and. Uh, some of that came crashing down when um, Mark died, and the rest of it came sort of crashing down when Cole died, but we're picking it up, we're going to finish Devil's Highway, and we're going to finish uh, Murder by Breakfast. On the personal side, um, the one film you saw, uh, Love in a Lifetime, Cole wrote that, and it was based on his feelings, on his life. He was lonely. He searched um, for somebody that would be his soulmate, so to speak. And um, I, I don't know that he was successful, but he never gave up. Same as in film, he never gave up. The one thing, and I want to mention this because he's sitting over there and up there and all around us, he wanted to make films to make his parents proud. It was his big thing in life. He just wanted to make his parents proud. And I think he did. Peter's chocolate liqueur cuckoo. In fact, we have shots uh, on the table here. So if you want, uh, maybe uh, in his honor, have a cuckoo chocolate liqueur shot. So here's Peter Cuckoo. You know, he's going to be missed. I have those. Cuckoo banana nut shots. This is a uh, sugar, so everything is prepared. It's a banana nut, and, and I'm going to uh, put some whipped cream. So that was his favorite banana nut shot. So the top is going to put some whipped cream, and it's ready to shoot it. And he always was saying, I'm, I'm saying cuckoo. And he's like, cuckoo kachoo! <laughs> All I'd like to say is, uh, I don't think that Rick and Cuckoo has shared with you how much or how close of a friend those two were. They got together almost every single day. If Peter wasn't calling him, Rick was calling him, they were going to lunch, they were doing all sorts of things, they were think tanking, that type of stuff. So I would like to just take one quick little moment for Cole and say thank you to Rick and thank you to Cuckoo for being such good friends. Thank you. Thank you, Rick. That means a lot. I think this was a great event and I think he's looking down on us and just smiling. And just uh, really glad that uh, this, this event happens. It was a pleasure to spend an evening with Cole's short film creating partners, actors, friends, talented musicians, and people that made the event unforgettable. Let this video serve as a memory and a place to share the love of the amazing personality and creative director, Howell C. Kicklighter. Yeah. Oh.